Hello and again, welcome to Nobody Pl Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> um, nobody Slays Minecraft here on this I Leave Vanilla. Um, I've done a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I realized that I was about two and a half weeks behind on videos that I haven't even edited yet. Uh, one just went up yesterday, which was Friday, the 4th of August. No, August? Yeah, August. Uh, I don't know what month it is. Eight, whatever number that is. Um, we've been busy. Um, I've been, I recorded a bunch of stuff, but, um, I didn't want to have, like, okay, this was like four weeks ago, uh, but here is it uploaded now, so I figured let's just take a, take a break from those videos. They're gone. Um, and I'll give you a quick little recap of what I've done. I still have them, but, um, I just figure, uh, you don't want to see me dripping around too much. Um, biggest thing, um... Oh, poor Wookie doesn't have silk touch. We're going to hopefully work on that shortly. Um, those of you who know me know I'm lazy. And I've set up item sorting for the whole base. Where essentially we get cobble, dirt, sand, stone, stone brick, uh, spruce logs only, um, and iron going here. Not the blocks, but that. We've got a lot of iron from the iron farm. A few more we can fill in. And this, although it kills my frames when I'm using OBS, when I'm not using OBS, it's fine. We have carrots, we have cobble in there, whole places. This is the placeholder sorting chest. Uh, I use the design, I'm sure, I think Tango did the original one, possibly. Um, oh, good game, Silent Whisper. Um, but this one was actually done uh, silently by, I have it right here, I had it here, where'd it go? Hex Regulus, H-E-X-R-E-G-U-L-U-S. Go check him out. Um... Where essentially, oh, it's still sorting. Okay, yeah, it, I had a huge backlog, so I had to set up uh, some buffers. Uh, so this is our main water feed for everything. Everything that we're going to sort through a water stream is going to go into this water feed here. Uh, it hooks into the bottom for our farms, as I'll show you in a second. Everything shoots up here, goes into that hopper here, which then gets fed into here. If it's any one of these items, it gets pulled out for bulk storage, like cobble. So I'll cobble, we'll just go in, actually, the chest below it down here. That fills up, that'll fill up. So we have three chests and three hoppers we can fill for each of those. Um, then we can add more here. I could probably add um, diorite and andesite and all that. Uh, then this, everything else goes into. And then if it's got no place, it just goes here and keeps adding on. So if it's got a spot, it fills it. Like, as an example, if I pulled this out, something's probably going to go in there. Yep, coal, or charcoal went in there. As you can see, it's not very fast, but I don't care. It's automatic. I hit go. I walk away. The stuff ends up in here eventually. Uh, it should be lossless because everything's within a hopper, uh, so it never should get lost. And then everything else will just end up down here at the end, which we might have this go to more bulk storage if we decide we need more bulk storage. Uh, so that's done. Uh, seaweed farm is doing pretty good. Over here, I don't think I did the farmers. I'll show you that here. Yeah, kelp farm, not seaweed. Uh, kelp farm's doing okay here at spawns doing a lot better i've just been using this to turn these into uh the uh, kelp blocks you can see we got a ton in there and this is there's a better automated way to do this i'm sure this is just me doing it while i'm here i almost got a stack in there i'm just going to keep going 20 blocks per uh, uh per kelp block so there we go i built this thing here with a water elevator Whee! i still don't know what i'm going to use this for this might be a villager trading hall i, I just don't know uh, speaking of villagers, we got some more. We did get a farmer, which is awesome. Um, that's how we get all our uh, emeralds. We gotta get away from here. Yeah, the frames drop when recording. When we're not recording and OBS isn't open, it's actually fine. I mean, I go from like uh, 200 to 120, but still, that's still plenty. Um, this is bust. Uh, the reason I think this doesn't work is because it's too close to the village. So the farm we had set up here does work. My positioning did not. So the design is still good. Um, it's just where I had it is not. And we have an actual, are you the farmer? You're the farmer. Uh, we're going to set up a villager trading area. I uh, get all these guys in there because I figure I'm going to set it up near um, the sorting area. Just that way we can have uh, all our carrots and potatoes and such to get going. We also need to set up a wheat farm. Uh, we should sleep real quick too. Um, I have a way to get the villagers out of there. There is a bubble elevator I can just push them into, get them into a boat up here. We just close this off, and then we uh, just have them go this way. But now that we have a ton of iron, I'm probably going to set up rails just to keep them in carts at all times to keep them safe. And we'll let the sun set, and we'll meet you over there at the uh, the farm farms. The farm farms? The farm, 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 farm. The farms. 
I can't sleep at night. Well, Silent Whisper was sleeping. I didn't even have to. All right. So we're going to head over here to the farms. Oh, and here I just, just did a weird floor design. I This is a placeholder. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just kind of thought something different would be good. I'm thinking of maybe even putting pistons in the ground because you can put, I believe pistons still pass light through. They're still a transparent block, I believe. 113 may have broken that. Because I always like pistons as a design idea because it would let light through but keep the light hidden. This, since we actually bought some uh, um, sea lanterns for Mr. Awuga, we have this working. So this guy plants. Let's put a, I have no blocks on me. Um, here we go. There's a block. Boop, boop, there we go. So he plants. Um, it'll go there. He'll step on the pressure plate because there's pressure plates all around on all of them. And it'll pop the potato out. Normally, it'll go into a hopper. I think I showed this off. I can't remember. Um, it's an item. It's a hopper in a mine cart over a hopper that goes in here, which then feeds into here. There's a, another one underground, which is carrots. This thing is just potatoes. Uh, this is a way to get villagers down. That will go away once we get the wheat farm set up. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Uh, the carrot farm is right above us here. Let's just get in here so we don't drown. Uh, this... We are using a um, double observer sticky piston dispenser from Mr. Azumavoid. He, I got the design from him where... I'm not even going to try and spell it. I can never spell it right when I search for it. But essentially what's supposed to happen is... We'll just put... We have two axes. Put one in here. That'll go up. That detects it. It sends this up and it launches them pretty darn quick into this water stream, which goes over to this area. Where, if we hug here, we'll hit the water. There we go. Um, this essentially is just a water stream that starts at the very, not the very bottom, right at level 16. We can go a little bit further. I uh, hear a skelly. That's not good. Um, here we go. I, I need to set a safe way down slash a bubble elevator up. Because right now we do not have that option. We have yeah no easy way to get out, unfortunately, right now. Uh, but you see the, the stuff that gets launched in here. Similar thing over there. If we can get over, I got rid of my one block. Um, or it's going to be the same thing here, where that just launches it into the water stream. The dropper's facing that way. We put the thing on the side here to send it up. And that way it'll just go right up uh, into the water stream and into the sorting system. So we can have anything from anywhere in the base. Um, just take a water stream to this guy here. Um, we can feed it into that hopper, or we can add another like insert thing here, higher or lower or whatnot. And we're in business, and then everything just gets put away. So my farms are automated. They just go into here, and they're done. I, I love this. I love it. Um, we also have one more thing I want to... Oh, I died so many times here. It wasn't even funny. That's why there's all the torches. Um, now I have to... I used to take the water stream up, but I don't think it's going to work now because I put a roof on it. Um, so let's do that. Let's figure that out together, shall we? Am I going to get killed here? I may need to break uh, a block in the top here. Or just build it up slightly higher so we can have a way up. Oh, no, we can get out. Cool. All right, we have an elevator too. Beautiful. Um, I also did something over there. Ow. Over here, you see our portal's right there. This is a nice, easy way to get to it. So if anyone on the server needs this, you might want to check this out. I'm going to work on getting a auto everything for this guy too, but for now... Just go right outside my portal, take a boat, fall on down here, try to go a little bit this way. Let's get on the other side of the fence here. And over here, nothing. It's a slime chunk. Um, I'm going to work on digging it out once we get some better tools and stuff. I want to get the farmers going first because we can usually trade for uh, uh, different tools and such. So um, we have a double slime chunk, so he's got to dig a whole bunch of stuff out. This may not even be the right level for the floor. I just made sure it worked, and we got 12 off one big slime, which is what we needed to get the sticky pistons to get the Azumavoid. Uh, yeah, we got to light this up better, too, to make spawns better. Um, but to get the Azumavoid um, uh, thingy, words no work, <laughs> the Azumavoid piston thing, we need a sticky piston uh, for the launcher, so I had to get a uh, sticky piston going, so... That's why we have that. So, if you want to come AFK and use a slime farm here, again, it's not automated yet. It ain't, it's not great, but um, it's a double slime chunk. And I plan on digging out later, but we got that. So, that's what we have here. And then there's something at spawn that I've been working on, too. Oh, that's cool. The uh, I put some jungle saplings in the vine screw here. Nice. 
did not realize it did that. So at spawn, we have... We've done some things. Oh, Golden's dying right now, too. See the flames. Everything load in. Um, our villager farm is not working well. Um, I don't know if I showed that off or if I even showed off building the iron farm. We built an iron farm. Again, I can't remember what I showed and what I didn't. Um, I don't think the iron farm was even on there. Um, I had offers from a lot of people on the server to help. And... Like, they were actually on the server, and they said, we'd be more than happy to help. I'm like, thanks, guys. And then no one actually helped. Uh, picks maybe the bubble elevator. So, um, fisherman. Oh, we get, and this is actually working now. So, we got some toolsmith. Cool. So, we actually have some villagers here. And a fletcher. Okay. And nitwit there, too. So, we have some villagers now. Before, we weren't getting any. So, we might even just use these. Should we do a villager trading thing at my place or here? I think if we did it here we should get with someone else because designing it and making it pretty um, I don't really want to do deal with <laughs> um, making it work and getting doing all the wiring and whatnot and getting all the villagers in place and that I have no issues doing. I actually enjoy that. But making it pretty and designing it. You want a big stone box? Hey, I'm your guy. You want it pretty? I don't know. Alright, here is our kelp farm. Um, we had a very basic design on the other one. But here, here's the safe drop. It takes us down here. Do, 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 do. It's a cactus design. Thank you, Mr. Cactus. Where once the cactus grows, it sends a redstone signal down here, which sets off all these pistons, which we can actually access from here. Uh, so it looks like it just went off. Um, looks like this one's stuck. Normally, they all go to the top. And when they go up to the top, I think we might be stuck in here. Yeah, we can't get past this. Uh, but essentially goes into a water flow here, which goes into a channel over there, which we'll show you on top once I get out of here. And it goes 20 or so blocks down, so quite a bit. Close that up. Uh, so every time the cactus grows, the observer block sees it, sends a signal, and hits all the pistons. It leaves the bottom one so they can keep growing and just lets the other things float to the top, which comes up right over here. Let's have a snack. Oh, we're not hungry. To this guy down here. Which, again, it's just kind of sitting here being collected. And, oh, we got a decent amount here. And stuff I had left over from last time that I needed to make room to take the kelp back to base with. So that's it. And this should run relatively all the time. Sometimes it's hit or miss with someone's, someone has to be in the server. I, even though it's close to the spawn chunks, I'm not sure if I have it close enough. So it may not be working properly for the spawn. But um, it's functional. So that's good. And we apparently have a poppy bandit. We should put these back. Oh, we'll see how much iron we have, too. So that's what we've been doing. So doing a lot of stuff and digging and exploring and all that. So And we got a bunch of iron, too. Um, I'm going to leave that. I keep taking it because I built the farm and did all the work. Um, others are welcome to it. Um, I have enough for now. I uh, may need a bunch later, but for now, we're going to set up a sorter for that, too. And we need a location for, and eventually we'll take down this uh, village breeder just because uh, we have it here for now because we need to, rather than breed them at my place, have to AFK there and then send them all the way over here, um, especially since the rail duplication doesn't work and I didn't want to deal with the nether and villagers. Um, that's too much of a pain. Oh, Lord, this is broken. That's not good. That's, that's, they were all supposed to fall down and they didn't. That's why our breeder hasn't been working. Okay, well, we found the problem. Uh, so next episode will be... Oh, man. I guess we're building a village thing over here. A village trading hall over here. Because, yeah. We've got enough. <laughs> I don't think I did an outro. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. All that good stuff. If you're new, please consider subscribing. If you are new, let me explain one really important thing about this channel. Um, I don't have ads turned on. I ask for, um, if you'd like to help support, please go to donate.nobodyslp.com. That actually goes to Extra Life. It doesn't go to me. It goes to a great gamers-based charity where all the proceeds, all the money goes directly to the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Uh, I'm actually playing for one out here where I live, but if you want to donate directly to yours, I totally understand. Uh, you can usually find everything at extra-life.org. If you want to join the team I am on, run by Miss Holloway J at HollowayJ.com. Uh, go to lquackattack.com, E-L for Extra Life, quackattack, because that's our team name, uh, dot com. It'll take you to our team page. You can sign up for Extra Life, join us, and start uh, playing games and saving kids right away. So that's always appreciated. Um, there's some creepers over there. 
the beds are gone. I'm going to run to the nether, and we'll see you in the next one when I figure out what the heck we're going to do over there. Um, yeah, okay, bye! <laughs>